To a developing story, he was cleared of criminal charges. But today we learned a D.C. Police Review Board is now recommending D.C. Police Officer Brian Trainer be fired for the shooting death of Terrence Sterling, an unarmed black man. The mayor says she's happy with that decision, and Stephanie Ramirez was inside 3rd District Headquarters for the mayor's reaction. Yeah, Adam, the mayor said she was happy, but the police chief wouldn't give his response either way. He says that's because he's a part of the appeal process, and Officer Brian Trainer does have the right to appeal. More than a year after this D.C. police officer shot and killed 31-year-old Terrence Sterling, a use of force review board now says that officer broke policy. But Police Chief Peter Newsham wouldn't say which one's Tuesday. You know, as the chief of police, I have to remain uh, objective. I have to wait until I get the results from uh, provided that, that the member appeals. And I have to keep an open mind. So, so you know, my reaction to this, I think, would uh, could potentially... Um, it could potentially hurt the final outcome. I don't want to do anything that would do that. On September 11th, 2016, Officer Brian Trainer and his partner had encountered Terrence Sterling on his motorcycle in the streets of D.C. Police say Sterling had alcohol and drugs in his system and that there was a high-speed chase for more than 20 blocks before Trainer and his partner caught up with Sterling at 3rd and M Streets Northwest. Police reportedly pulled into the intersection to block Sterling. Trainer took his gun out of the holster and held it at his side, according to reports. The officers say Sterling then revved his motorcycle and rammed into Trainer's partially open door. Officer Trainer shot twice. This past summer, prosecutors say there was insufficient evidence to charge Trainer of any criminality in the shooting. Now we have our administrative process that we follow uh, in the district. So what I hope the community understands is that we've done exactly what we said we were going to do in being transparent. Now, the family of Terrence Sterling did issue a statement a little bit earlier, essentially saying that the review board's finding of the shooting as unjustified brings them one step closer to justice. Well, we asked the AG that very same question. If the city was also going to find this shooting as unjustified because there is a civil lawsuit. Now, Mr. Racine did not answer that question. At the 3rd District tonight, Stephanie Vermeer, W USA 9. A difficult process for Sterling's family as this whole thing just keeps getting drawn out. Stephanie, thanks. Officer Trainer has been on paid administrative leave. He will get the chance to appeal. If he wants that appeal hearing, the chief says that could happen in February. Well, friends of Sterling are cautiously optimistic about today's news. While they believe it's a step in the right direction, Stephen Douglas says they'll continue to fight until Officer Brian Trainer is held criminally responsible. We're not going to stop here because there's more justice that, that needs to be done. And in fact, uh, if you're saying that this is unjustifiable, then guess what? You're saying that it's murder and he needs to be in jail for, in fact, murder. And if not, manslaughter at the least. Protesters say they are working behind the scenes on new strategies and in the new year plan to demonstrate at 3rd and M the site of the shooting.